As kids, we were taught that candy was strictly optional. If you ate all your vegetables, maybe you could have candy afterward. But as a retailer, candy is absolutely mandatory, and it could go a long way toward sweetening your profits. Hi, I'm Terry Lambert, a CBC Learning Center instructor and a gas station convenience store owner. Customers who buy candy typically buy other things too, like a drink or any other number of items. So be sure you have the kind of candy they want by offering a wide variety of candy selections. The greater the variety, the better your ability to increase your store's profitability. And it's important that you stock the top selling candy items. So ask your grocery wholesaler for a rank report of the top selling products in your market. You'll also want to keep on top of the newest candy items, so tell your candy supplier that you want to be made aware of them. The best way to maximize new product sales is to have them as soon as they become available. Displaying your candy is also important. Proper placement of the top sellers in your candy aisle can have a huge impact on sales. Another smart strategy is incremental placement of candy in other locations in your store. Kit Kats and Twix go great with coffee, so try putting some there. And other best-selling candies can go near your fountain or even on your front counter if you have the room. And wherever you put your candy, price it right. Your candy bar should be priced to make a 40 to 45% gross profit. If you have any questions about increasing your candy profits or about any store operations question, contact a CBC Learning Center specialist. We're here to help. And sign up for our retail operating tip at cbclearningcenter.com. Thanks for watching.